I'll be showing you how to make a sound slider that looks a bit like this. Start by adding a horizontal slider to your scene. Select your slider and head on over to the inspector. Head down to the minimum and maximum value fields. Set the minimum value to around minus 30 and the maximum value to zero. We will use these values to change the sound volume of our audio bus. Next we'll need to add a script. I'm going to add mine to the control node, but you can add yours wherever you want. Delete all this useless stuff and add the following line of code. This line of code will get the index of the audio bus that we want to use and save it as a variable for us to use later. You should name the variable something that's related to your audio bus. The name of the audio bus that you want to use should go inside of these speech marks. The default audio bus is called master and is the one that I'll be using here. However, if you want to do this for your own custom audio bus, you can put the name of that audio bus here. For more information on audio buses, consider checking out the video in the top right. I'll also leave a link to it at the end of this video. Next, select your H slider and head on over to node next to the inspector in the top right. Select signals and head down to value changed. Double click this signal and connect it to your script. Inside of the signal function, add this line of code. This line of code is used to change the volume in decibels of an audio bus. It requires two parameters to do this. The first parameter is the name of the bus that we want to change. This is where you should put the name of the variable that you created earlier. The second parameter is the value that we want to set the volume to. In this case, we'll be setting it to the value of our slider. Under this, add these lines of code. These lines of code will be used to move the volume if the slider is moved all the way to the end. It does this by checking to see if the value is equal to minus 30, which is what we set our minimum value to be. If it is, then it mutes the audio using this method. If it's anything else, then the bus will be unmuted. And that's about it. If you now run your game and move the slider, the volume of your selected audio bus should change. Before you go, consider checking out this video on screen about audio in Godot, or maybe this video on how to add a mute button to your games.